Welcome back. Time now to talk weather once again with meteorologist Thomas Patrick. Of course, we've been tracking these dry conditions we've been having and the lightning, the dry lightning that ran through the state last night, sparking these new fires. Uh, it's almost obvious on one hand, but it's impressive to mention, Thomas, you just said during the, the commercial break, a bolt of lightning is 50,000 degrees. Yeah, that's hotter than the surface of the sun. My goodness. So no wonder when we get dry lightning strikes, wildfires are such a huge concern for us just because of the raw amount of heat. Those bolts of lightning can provide for an area that is so dry like ours. We're already in an extreme drought at this stage in the summertime, but now we're tracking a lot of the wildfire smoke and the haze across the region while things are still going to be pretty hot for a few days to come. Check out our weather satellite imagery here. No wonder it is so hazy across central Washington, eastern Washington, all of Idaho as well. And if you look closely, you can actually pinpoint where a lot of these fires are actually pluming out smoke. Just highlight just a couple of them here, including that new Nespelum fire that started about 24 hours ago. It's only going to get worse tomorrow. We're under red flag warnings. This is for critical fire danger conditions across our region because the winds will be a little bit stronger for tomorrow in that 20 to 25 mile per hour range. So we take you to our future tracker wind speeds. The reds that you see here are mostly just the mountain crest winds that are a little bit stronger, but notice that even in the Columbia Basin Spokane area, these yellow and orange shades indicating about 20 to 25 mile per hour winds. That's for tomorrow. Again on Thursday would not be surprised to see that red flag warning extended into Friday based on that forecast of about 20 mile per hour wind speeds as well. Of course, with so much wildfires and wildfire smoke in the region, we have air quality alerts for most of central Idaho and portions of southeastern Washington as well. In fact, the most intense fires are actually in this region of the country. The Snake River complex in Idaho is one of the largest fires in the entire US, so that is pouring out a whole lot of smoke. At times we will see air quality drop into this unhealthy for some or sensitive groups range. That's where it is right now in Spokane, not expecting it to get much worse than that, but in areas to our south, like in Lewiston and Grangeville or Afino, we could see some unhealthy air qualities in that region where we have those air quality alerts. That's because the winds in the upper atmosphere are mainly out of the west or northwest at the moment. So that's why most of the smoke is in this region. We're just experiencing quite hazy conditions. And of course, we saw that very blood orange sunset just a couple hours ago as a result of that. Still going to be very hot for tomorrow. Heat advisory for one more day. Our temperature is oh so close to 100 degrees yet again. It was 97 today, going 99 for the high tomorrow. Hazy conditions is going to be lasting with us through about Saturday, but at least a little relief from the heat. Just 87 for the high Friday, Saturday before temperatures are back in the 90s by Sunday. Boy, it says something when you're looking forward to 87, right? Yeah. My goodness. All right, Thomas, thank you very much.